we, we put a lot of thoughts inside uh, making of our noodles and very recently we even went to the extent of adjusting the noodle thickness to with uh, maybe 0.01 mm thickness Hi everyone, my name is Pang and I'm the chef owner of Pang's Hakka Noodle. Uh, we are located at uh, 102 Henderson Road, uh, Sprout Hub. And we have another location at Arc 380 along Lavender Street. So basically I'm a Hakka. So what got me into doing it was because I've been doing French Western food for the past 20, 30 years. And I thought uh, if I were to put the same kind of uh, commitment and uh, passion into my own heritage food, uh, I, I believe uh, it would mean much more. So, so why Hakka food, right? Um, I mean, I can do bak chor mi, I can do, do uh, mi hung kue or whatever kind of uh, hawker food, but I think Hakka food is very underrepresented and a lot of Hakka might not have really tried Hakka food even. You know, you, you go outside, you see a lot of places, Hakka Yong Tao Fu, uh, Hakka this, Hakka that, but it's, uh, to me, a very poor representation of what real Hakka food should be. Uh, so I took it upon myself to really want to do a very authentic tasting uh, Hakka food for people who like to try what is the real thing. When you try our Hakka signature noodle set, it comes with a bowl of Yong Tao Fu. And what makes the uh, Hakka Yong Tao Fu different from you know, all the other Yong Tao Fu that you see outside is that uh, Hakka Yong Tao Fu typically uses pork and a small percentage of uh, fish paste. And what's most important in there is the fermented salted fish that gives it the umami burst. So Hakka noodle uh, traditionally it's not as uh, robust tasting as uh, what we are serving now. They usually taste of luck and uh, garlic oil and uh, fish sauce and some very light seasoning. Mostly you taste the luck, which is the primary flavor uh, of Hakka noodle. I don't think you can make uh, Hakka noodle without luck. That's the uh, most essential ingredient in the noodle seasoning. Here we do it a little bit differently. Uh, we cook a pork, uh, minced pork sauce which has got more seasoning. That gives the whole eating experience uh, to be much more complete. Uh, so over here we have uh, of course Hakka noodle with the Yong Tao Fu soup and uh, very recently we introduced uh, a very special and unique uh, traditional uh, Hakka noodle set, which is uh, called the Hakka Scholar Soup. Traditionally, Hakka noodle is served with the Scholar Soup. Scholar Soup usually uh, consists of three cuts of the pork. Pork slices, pork liver and pork intestine. And uh, why, why this three cut is because in the olden days, uh, Hakka mom will cook this soup for the children who is, uh, for, for, for the children who is going to uh, take the imperial exam. And hopefully, that they score the top three prizes of the exam. So that three cuts of pork actually uh, represent the top three prizes of the exams. I haven't come across any place that serve this soup in Singapore, so uh, we thought it's quite interesting to make it available. But we make some changes because uh, maybe a lot of people don't quite like intestine. So in our uh, scholar soup, there is sliced pork, minced pork, pork liver, fish ball, prawn steak and fish paste. So before our store uh, start operating, we spend six months developing the noodles. Uh, you can't find this noodle anywhere else. It's uh, made to last. Meaning that even if you were to have this noodle take away and kept for a period of time, uh, it still has that, got that texture. Uh, it's not like some noodle where you take away and then you know when you stick your chopstick inside you can like pull up the whole noodle as a dough ball you know we, we put a lot of thoughts inside uh, making of our noodles and very recently we even went to the extent of adjusting the noodle thickness to with uh, maybe 0.01 mm 
Why we do that is because there's some science behind it. With the same weight, and when we make the noodles slightly thinner, there's more surface area to coat the sauces. So when people eat it, they are each actually eating with more sauces, that means with more flavour. Another highlight of our noodle dish is probably our homemade sambal. We call it Pang's uh, extra spicy shrimp sambal. Made with a lot of chilli padi, uh, aromatics and uh, dry shrimp of course. So this is something that like, uh, gives, gives the noodle a uh, very different eating experience when you add it into the noodle. Yeah. So when we just started this uh, Pang Saka noodle, I was physically running the store. Um, I think I love the adrenaline rush of lunch hour where you dish out like 80 to 100 noodles in, uh, in, in, in an hour. I think that gives me some sense of uh, accomplishment. My mom was a hawker. Uh, I grew up helping her at the noodle store. So it sometimes gives me a sense of uh, nostalgia. So you, you see a hawker's uh, store set up, you don't have the luxury of uh, dishwashing service or cleaning service. So I guess that's the part where I don't quite enjoy. It's like, you know, after you do like 150, 200 bowl of noodles at, and, and, and at the end of the day, you still have to go wash all those bowls. And that's not so fun, yeah. I think for some business owner, there comes a point where they might have to make a business decision. For example, the fermented fish, uh, fermented salted fish that we put inside our pork paste, right, for the Yong Tau Fu, it's very, very expensive. And without that, you cannot have an authentic taste of uh, Hakka Yong Tau Fu. For me, yes, business is important. Making the business work is important, but at the same time, I feel that I owe it to my customer who come, who, read, who, who, who might have read about us somewhere uh, and, and come here to try what is the real thing and I, I think I owe it to them to, 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 to give them something that is what I feel is good enough. Well, I mean for all businesses, we definitely wish to grow. Uh, but I think we are still at an very early stage and we are in a very uh, uncertain time. Uh, so we just want to make whatever we have now work first before we uh, plan further ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, my, my, my sincere uh, appreciation to all our customers who have come and supported us, uh, who, come, who have come and tried our food. Uh, because for someone uh, to... And we are in quite an obscure location. So, so for, for people to really make that effort to come here, try our food, uh, it's not, it's not a, a, a convenient thing to do. I really, really uh, thank them from the bottom of my heart and I hope they have enjoyed our food and I certainly hope that they'll be back. <laughs> yeah.